Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. My last question to you was this, are you dressed for the season that you're in? Now I wanna talk about that dress attire and what it looks like. So let's see what Paul says in Ephesians 6, starting at verse 10. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So what are the wise of the devil? In the Greek language, the word wiles is methodia, meaning to be crafty, deceitful, and to scheme. So the wiles of the devil are the manner in which he tries to deceive us. So what does the armor look like? Paul depicts the armor of God in the natural sense as the attire of a Roman soldier. So let's look at the different pieces of the armor in the spiritual sense. We need to gird our loins with the belt of truth. Whose truth? The truth about who Jesus is. The truth of the word of God that we need to apply to our lives so we can tell the difference between truth and deception. We need to put on our feet the gospel of peace. What is the gospel of peace? The gospel is the good news that the Messiah is coming back. And with that knowledge, we ought to have peace. So we are to walk in peace and we are to be able to speak peace into our lives. And wherever our feet are placed, there should be peace. Then we are to put on the breastplate of righteousness. And what is the breastplate of righteousness? It covers the heart. It covers the spiritual heart, which in the Greek language, the word heart means cardia, meaning the inner man or the intellect. So we are to cover the inner man with the righteousness. Whose righteousness? God's righteousness. And how do we do that? By being in right standing with God. Then we are to put on the helmet of salvation. What, is, what does the helmet cover? It covers our head. And what is salvation? Salvation is deliverance. So the helmet covers the head indicates we are to cover our minds. We are to cover our minds with salvation, reminding ourselves on a daily basis that we are no longer bound by sin. We are no longer bound by the devil because through Jesus Christ, we are delivered. Then we are to pick up the shield of faith. What is faith? Faith, it is without faith we cannot please God. We need faith in order to walk this path that we're on with Jesus Christ. We need faith to quench the, the fiery darts of the enemy. So we have to have faith in him. Then we are to pick up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the living God. It is through the word of God where we gain knowledge, wisdom, and understanding about who Jesus is and how we are to walk this walk. How do we gain righteousness? How do we understand what salvation is? How do we know what the truth is? Through the word of God. It is through the word of God where we can stand up against the lies and the deception of the enemy. I want you to take comfort in this, that in the Bible, there were other people who had to put on their garments either while they were going through trials and tribulations or right before they were delivered out of it. In Exodus 12, um, God gave Moses instructions for the children of Israel right before the Passover. And he told, he said, Moses, tell my children to gird their loins put on their shoes and pick up their staff. And in Daniel 3, right before the three Hebrew boys were thrown into the fiery furnace, the word said that they were bound in their garments, they were bound in their hosiery, in their coats. 
and other garments, and they came out of the fiery furnace unscathed. And in the New Testament, after Peter was imprisoned and he was about to be beheaded, in the night, the angel of the Lord came to Peter. And this is what the angel said to him. Gird thy loin, or gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. God wants us to put on her entire, the whole armor and follow him. Follow him so that he can lead us in the right path. I want us to recognize that the two pieces of garments that covers the inner man, which is the breastplate of righteousness and the helmets of salvation. We are to take note of those because the mind is the battleground for the enemy. So we need the armor of God. We need to remind ourselves every day about God's righteousness, about salvation. So I want to encourage you that whatever season you are in, put on the whole armor of God. But how do you do that? Through prayer, through prayer and supplication, through a, a relationship with God. I want to encourage you to spend more time reading the word of God, putting on the whole armor so that God can lead you out of this season of negativity, of lies that the devil may be telling you right now so that God can lead you out of that. The same way he delivered the children of Israel, the same way he delivered the three Hebrew boys, the same way he delivered Peter, he can deliver you. Put on your garment and let's go. I am Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Manifold Thoughts.